Singapore versus Japan culture. That's the topic today. So another thing is um, how you dress. So I read in a travel guide for Singapore, they're very conservative. However, when you arrive in Singapore, uh, I wouldn't say so because of the weather, it's very hot. And um, yeah, tank tops, maybe not necessarily the, the norm, no. There you have your shoulders uh, um, covered, but shorts and flip-flops, you know, that, that's not conservative. However, when you come to Japan, that's conservative. Uh, really, until turtleneck, totally normal. Shoulders you cannot show. Maybe you can show <laughs> your, your neck, yeah, because of the kimono. But in general, um, very conservative here in Japan. It's just unbelievable. And <laughs> this is sometimes so I have, for example, I like to wear uh, V, like this V-necks, but you cannot show too much, yeah? Even my husband one time uh, said, oh, you need a shawl, you are going to my mother. For me, it was not, it was basically like this. Uh, I think, oh yeah, the arms was free, they were free, yeah, they were, no, sleeves. I look nice. I look decent. But not here in Japan. I mean, here, um, not good enough. <laughs> really not good enough. Yeah. What I had once in Singapore, I was on a golf course and um, not on a golf course, I was on a driving range and I was kicked out because I was too sleazily dressed. But what I was wearing is actually long pants, as oh no, three quarter pants, a capri pants, and a t-shirt, just a normal t-shirt with, I covered my shoulders, everything that's until here. And I had here two buttons, but they were not closed. So they kicked me out. This happened in Singapore, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and another thing is also the interaction with locals, no? If you go here to the convenience store, which are super cool, you will have somebody at the register um, telling you how much it costs and uh, you're welcome and thank you. It costs, uh, let's say, 250 yen and they, they're speaking like a robot. Whereby in Singapore, completely different. If you buy something, they basically ask you your life story <laughs> which is very cute sometimes annoying as I mentioned it before but it's cute because you you have a real life interaction with people whereby here in Japan this they are really acting like robots and uh, which is also very funny if you go to a restaurant and you're not really right sure what you want to eat and in Singapore, I could say, uh, what would you recommend? Whereby here in Japan, no, you can't do that. Um, they, will, they will freak out. They, they don't know what you mean. And of course, maybe they don't speak even English. Even when I let my husband translate in the beginning, um, they didn't know what to say. They, they didn't have their own opinion and I wouldn't recommend one meal on the menu. And this is really... Um, unusual, not thinking for yourself. I hope you like this today and I see you in my next video. Bye!